So here we are inside your shoulders. So I go and put an anchor, and then you're looking at six weeks in a sling and a. It is the morning of surgery. Um, just woke up, well, just woke up, just got out of bed. Last night was awful. I didn't sleep for a single minute. I was just tossing and turning. Um, terrible, very tired. Um, you said no food or drinks after 12, but I totally had water. I thought water was okay, but I don't think it is. Whatever, hopefully it doesn't affect anything. But yeah, we're about to go to Windsor now. Probably like a 45 minute to an hour drive. Uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm happy to get over with, and yeah, peace. Last time I can move my arm. Alright, that's cool. No more right arm for me. Here we go. Right side is the correct side. Right side, yep. Hasn't been behaving recently. Oh, the past two weeks, it's been hurting really bad. Oh, yeah. And right. It's like, yeah, they kill the process. Yeah. Okay, so. The camera's about that big. Mm -hmm. Here, you're going to get a poco, poco, poco. Do some poco, it's depending on we're trying to reach. We're gonna go in there, we're gonna look at the rotator cuff, we're gonna look at the long head biceps, look at the labrum, and look at the cartilage. We're gonna take some pictures and videos. We get a little memory stick, actually, which will have some snapshots no and videos of what we're doing That's in there. Awesome. Then we go up into the subacromial space above the rotator cuff, shave off some of the bone here, and shave off the end of the clavicle right there. But that's where all your pain is right there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You don't really have any pain, pain back there. Right? No, no. Good. Um, so yeah, when we're done, we basically, you'll have a big bulky bandage. You can take that all down two or three days. You'll have sort of, your biggest incision will be that big. Yeah. Okay, you'll have some staples there. You just get some big band-aids to cover the poke holes. Okay. 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 Yep. Um, what was I going to say next? Uh, the, you'll have an instruction sheet which says what we found and what we did. You'll have a physiotherapy reform also. To, if I don't put any anchors in and just do what we're planning to do then, you'll just progress as tolerated. So. If you feel comfortable, you come out of the sling whenever you want. All right. All right. Yep. And then we'll see you in about a week and a half or so for follow up. Awesome. Yep. All right. Yep. Perfect. Thank you. So here we are inside your shoulder. So that's the air bubble up top here. I'm just going to get rid of that right now. And so uh, there's the long head of the biceps. There's the glenoid, uh, sorry, the humeral head. That's the rotator cuff there. This here is a super labrum that looks perfect. Okay, the cartilage there looks great. 
or walking around the posterior aspect, posterior labrum, a little bit of fraying there po inferiorly actually. So we may actually take a closer look at that. It may actually even pop an anchor into that because that may be giving you a little bit of pain. We'll, we'll check it out. In there looks good. Oops, out. This stuff here is actually still all bursa here. And once we develop that interval, then we can uh, get a bit more aggressive. There's some muscle. So we have the bare area looks good. Super labrum. Or sorry, uh, anterior labrum. That looks really good also. Okay, so we're going to pop uh, a cannula up front here just so we can take a closer look at that posterior aspect. So here we are. So here's the posterior labrum. So you can sort of see this little cleft here. You just have a little bit of a fraying right there. It's not too bad. All The labrum itself, this part right here, is, is nice and stable. So we're going to leave that alone, okay? Then that, the reason I'm going to leave that alone is that it's not that bad. And then if I go and put an anchor in, then you're looking at six weeks in a sling and a bunch of rehab. So where it's so mild and you don't have any pain there, uh, we're going to leave this go up into the subacromal space. This stuff here is actually still all bursa here. And once we develop that interval, then we can uh, get a bit more aggressive. There's some muscle. Here we are clearing off the undersurface of the chromium, just getting the soft tissue off, performing a synovectomy. Straight ahead uh, is the CA ligament, we're just going to peel that off a little bit also. We're just identifying where the bone is so that we can then resect it with our burr. This is the CA ligament we're working on right now. We can drop our pressure to uh, like 40. So here's the rotator cuff and that's perfect. There's a little bit of the spur right here. Uh, you can sort of see how it does slope and come down a little bit, but it's not, not too, too bad. The biggest issue for you is the AC joint, which we're going to get rid of. So here we are viewing from the side. Uh, this is the clavicle, which is straight ahead of us. So here we are, just taking a little bit off the lateral aspect of the chromium. And then we're going to sink down, just sort of pick our level of how low we want it. And then resect everything down to that level. All right. We started to level the middle part and the posterior part. We still have a, the 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 spur at the front part, you can sort of see it right there in front of you. So we're just going to get rid of that, but you can sort of see 
Um, it's it's a it's a medium size or on a smaller size, but where you're so young, certainly that's going to get bigger. Uh, Would have got bigger with age, and you probably have a bit more uh, size spur for your age just because of all the lifting you've done, where you get a bit of adaptation of that spur. So here we are. We're sinking our burr down to get our initial resection point. Then once we have that, then we just finish off the rest. Okay. So there we go. There's our good resection. So I think you should find quite an improvement. Uh, overall with everything. Oh, Mr. Patient. He wants to keep it for posterity. Record it. That's right. The evidence. All right. <laughs> you might need that for in case you feel sick. Were you feeling sick at all? No. Doing good? Good. You can edit it. dinner. I'm not supposed to eat anything harsh because my stomach's still messed up so fruit. Just had some soup. <laughs> Look how big my shoulder looks. There's a bunch of like band-aids and padding and stuff like that. Covered stitches. Yeah we are home. I was sleeping all morning. I was all drugged up and tired so I couldn't really talk but we're vibing now. Ooh. Scale of one to ten of pain, it's like a three or four. Pain meds are like two hours. Let's go. Oh my god! It's just dry. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's where he drew lines. It's all. There's just lines.